What's up, Romies? This week we're checking out our favorite rigs at RVX. Let's go check it out. The first RV on the list is the Lance 1975 Travel Trailer. This is a concept RV and isn't actually in production, but we sure hope it goes into production soon. First, we see a nice pull-out battery tray and a pull-out storage tray underneath. At the time of the show, they didn't have the weights for it, but it should be a lightweight trailer. It doesn't have any slides, which will keep the weight down, which is something we love has an outdoor kitchen and it's we love how the outdoor kitchen pulls out of the rear inside there's an amazing u-shaped dinette and you can see that the decor inside the materials used the color schemes used make it seem really homey and almost like an upscale cabin getaway we loved the hidden wine cellar and the fact that they have storage for a coffee maker and it's hidden. The shelves and drawers are lined. There's a beautiful walk around bed. It's very spacious in the bedroom area and it even has a moon roof. The bathroom is beautiful with beautiful fixtures, different surfaces, and that's the 1975 by Lance. Next up on the list was the Sonic X. When we saw this thing, we were just amazed at how awesome this thing is. It's wrapped in carbon fiber, it's got light bars, it's got rock sliders, a thousand amp hours of lithium, a thousand watts of solar on the roof, off-road tires and wheel packages. I mean, just an insane rig. Everything on the outside was just amazing. Then we stepped inside and again we were floored it's just a beautiful, modern, updated interior design that they went with. Really nice white and black motif going on inside. Plenty of space uh, to relax and this cool Murphy bed that fits flushly against the front of the trailer and reveals a secondary seating space, which was awesome. Even the floors were awesome. That was the Sonic X. Next up, we have the Evoke Travel Trailers. These are just stunning. When you walk in, you really do not feel like you're in an RV. You feel kind of like you're in a luxury loft. The finishes are modern. It's got a light and airy feel. It feels very sleek, very much perfect for glamping. You've got a nice walk around bed in this particular model. The Evoke travel trailers show that you could use lightweight materials and still have everything look beautiful. The next rig we saw was the National Park Foundation branded Travado from Winnebago. This thing is celebrating their partnership with the National Park Foundation. It's mostly an exterior package. It's absolutely beautiful. You see the blacked out rims wrapped in KO2s for a little bit of off-road prowess and the beautiful exterior styling with that nice bright yellow, just a beautiful package. On the inside, you get an upgraded mat to keep things tidy, but it's all about that beautiful exterior. And lastly, the, the final pick here is actually not one RV per se, but we did notice that Winnebago across their entire motorized lineup really went with an update on their interiors. You had light, bright, airy, really nice countertops. Even the Class A's, which traditionally are a little bit more brown, let's say, um, had a really nice gray wash on the cabinetry, nice white countertops, and this really cool dual powered cooktop, giving you the option to use either your electric or propane. We also noticed some nice touches like light headboard and really nice light bright bathrooms. All right, there you have it, Romies. Those were some of our favorite rigs at RVX. If you like this video, be sure to leave us a like and a comment. And as always, Romies, enjoy the view and keep roaming. We'll catch you next time.